Hey, this is Ben with the CAIC. We're in the southeast Aspen zone, really close to the border of the Gunnison and Sawatch zones as well. We're at about 12,300 feet on an east-facing slope above treeline. Uh, last night we picked up about two inches of new snow. Um, here's our latest interface that will become a problem as we build a slab on top. So we have a thin faceted weak layer right here that's only a couple inches down, not yet a problem. We also have a buried layer of facets from around January 9th. So the snowpack here is going to have, it's going to develop some problems in the upper snowpack as we begin to develop slabs through the month of February. When we look at the snowpack overall, the snow heights about four feet. And this is shallower than a lot of parts in the Aspen zone. Um, it's one of the shallowest regions within the whole Central Mountains. And as we take a look at the snowpack, we can see the recent January snow. This is our holiday slab. It's quite stiff. And then we've got December 9th snow, and then the stuff that was buried December 9th in our weak layer right there. Let's see if it performs in an ECT. So no results, not surprising given that we're in low danger. This slab's quite strong. Um, it's supportive where you find it. Not far away from here, you can get into areas where this slab is totally gone and you go right into the weak layer. So if we remove a little of the slab and we keep adding some load, there you see the crack left out into the, the block and it fractured through the slab. So these are signs that we don't have a reactive slab weak layer combination at the moment. Um, in this part of the Central Mountains, if we were to get a slab that had several more inches of water, we actually could see things begin to avalanche back down here on these basal weak layers. In most of the Central Mountains, this slab is so thick and strong, we've kind of put these weak layers to bed for now. But here in the shallow parts, uh, keep your heads up. Even though it's low danger, you can see an avalanche right there. Broke on a northerly aspect, broke down near the ground. We've seen several more like that today in this area. And so despite the low danger, stay heads up in steep, shady terrain. Okay, here we are about 70 feet away from our last profile. The snowpack is roughly two and a half to three feet deep in this area. And the slab itself is a little less stiff and it's thinner. Let's see what our results look like here. Go. Propagating ECT result. The block sliding right on the bottom of our holiday slab. You can see the very large, weak depth hoar at the bottom of the snowpack. This slab is not that easy to trigger, but if you find the wrong spot in the landscape in the shallow parts of the Central Mountains, you can still trigger an avalanche.